No bar in it, everybody can see, okay? Yeah. So, chicken and asparagus. So this is which spice? So we're doing spice review, right? Yeah, this will be, this right now is the chicken and rib. Chicken and rib spice. Should I go get the fucking bottle? Yeah, of spice yeah right? go get the bottle of spice. I'll go get the bottle of spice. Yeah. Okay. 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 Some asparagus, just so uh, you know when we're when we're out back at the uh, match shed here and stay in the snow a little bit better. <laughs> it's been good training so far awesome people out here in Alberta really excited about tonight's practice tonight's practice should be very good because we had yesterday kind of off uh, yeah getting huge here I could probably put on like five pounds since uh, Matt's been feeding me up been going to sushi been uh, eating pizzas and pancakes and bacon and you name it all right so this is this is the one that we're eating today. It's by Prairie Smoke and Spice. So that's it right here. The stuff is pretty fucking good. This is good. This stuff is my fucking favorite though. We're gonna have this tonight for supper, right? We're doing this for supper? Yeah. The tumbleweed? Oh yeah. Tumbleweed by Prairie Smoke and Spice. I think he's out of Saskatchewan or something like that. Fucking awesome stuff. So, nice. You got me some asparagus already. No. So. So what I like to do is I like to cut the skin around the edge and then pop the cartilage and that off. So professional. This way when you're eating it, yeah. your fingers don't get dirty, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Even though like we look kind of similar, like almost the same size, kind of, Matt's so much more checked out than me, right? Mm -hmm. The way he cooks. You built this place, right? You built this? Yeah. Yeah, we started in October, finished. We are missing out of it in December. Beginning of December? No. Well, that is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, it's good. I mean, I would have burned this way more. I would have. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I oh, would have. Guaranteed. Yeah. Well, that's what the. It's all about low and slow, right? Mm -hmm. Low and slow. Low yeah. temperature, longer amount of time. Let all that fat and everything pop into the, into the meat, right? Very good. It really tenderizes it. Mm. Holds the juices too, right? Well. So. Yeah. Oh, Mohit Singh. Uh, were there any surprise for Devin in terms of expected progress and match to, or is everything going as Devin planned? Um, I'm actually, I'm actually surprised on how strong he feels compared to what I was thinking he was going to feel. I knew he was going to be feeling better, but I wasn't expecting as strong and as good as he was feeling. Even as thick as his hand is feeling, your hand's thicker now Boom. than it was. Yeah. Definitely thicker now than when you pulled Mike. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And I think everything's a lot more connected. Like, yeah, I see people making comments that your arms are opening up a bit when they're pulling, but like, this is hours and hours and hours of him being on the table. It's not instantly. If you notice at the beginning stages, the first hour of video that I deleted, you would have seen his arm never really moved off center at all the whole time. It wasn't until he got chipped away, chipped away, chipped away to where it started to open up a bit. But uh, no, as far as I'm concerned, the progress is better than I was expecting. And it stokes the hell out of me because it makes me more excited about what's going to be coming up, right? Good so, times. Good times. Yeah. yeah. I, think I'm, I think, for me, I think I'm in a great place to peak mm. for June. Uh-huh. You're gonna be busier than me though. You got more stuff coming up than I do. Yeah, there's a few things coming up, but a few more things possibly in the works. Once it gets hashed out, nailed out for sure, then maybe I'll make some announcements maybe in the next week or two. But definitely, definitely looking forward to it. We might do something up top here. I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kyle Evanoff, uh, would you be top ten? What would be the top five movements to train for somebody brand new to the sport. Looking forward to meet you both tomorrow in Edmonton. You want to go back and forth? You go um, first, I go second. You go ahead. Well, I'll start with rise. Sure. 
I think like just your ability to keep your hand knuckles high up, high up with any kind of like, like this, this motion, pulling a person upwards. It's, it's a very important motion in arm wrestling. One of the, yeah, it's, it's definitely, uh, I'd call, I, like I, I think about rising as like the icebreaker, you know? It's a great way to break into a person's, uh, the entire technical flow. Uh, rising, rising, knuckles up, hammer high, associated with back pressure. I would say movement. Initially myself, concentrate on everything being tight and just the finesse. You can tell a huge difference between an amateur arm wrestler and a professional arm wrestler. You could, as soon as you walk in the room and you're out of practice, you know which guys have experience and which guys don't have experience just by how they're moving on the table. Are you saying table time? No, I'm saying like alone time. Alone, alone with time. the table, yeah. Oh, alone with the table, videotape yourself just going through the motion and your movement and you can pick apart, you can tell yourself just from watching previous professionals if your movement and everything's in the right spot. And kind of adjust it from there to where it actually looks like you know what you're doing. It's not gonna feel like it right away, but you initially need to know, at least look like you know what you're doing. That's I feel a lot for that. That's way better than my answer. Huh? I was like robot, and you're like yeah. all artistic and stuff. Why? Well, I'm trying to keep it, keep it real, right? Cup, <laughs> cup. Cup, 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 cup. All forms cup. Whether it's cupping from the fingertips or anytime you know you're getting, you know, resisting your your wrist being compromised. Super important. The flex flexors of the wrist, cupping. I don't really care the handle if it's thick, if it's flat, whatever. Uh, anything that's going to make your wrist stronger to to cup in and to not be opened up. Massive. I would say concentrate on the center of your hand and not your fingertips. Everybody wants to squeeze. When you're arm wrestling, try to concentrate on the center of your hand. That's where all your energy is coming from. As soon as you squeeze too much, I believe you're cock blocking yourself. You're giving somebody a contact area to work off of. Your fingertips, when they're attacking you there, then as soon as you go to readjust or move anything, you've completely lost that much more. Concentrate on the center of your hand, not so much your fingers. So. We're gonna have to, you fly through the next one because we got some catch up to do here. <laughs> roll, roll through the thumb, balloon hands. Make that thumb, boom, strong so you can twist up. That's yeah. it. Marcus, thank you for that super chat and them questions. Really good question. Um, Marcus Thompson, uh, Matt the Canadian, Gordon Ramsay with a lot more swear words. Yeah, fuck Gordon Ramsay. Fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck Gordon Ramsay. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm gonna tag him in all my videos. He doesn't uh, give a shit. Kim Akerson, could you peak too early? Devin, is that a danger? I'll let you test on that one. Nope, I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna be perfect. I'm uh, gonna be the best day of my life, June 25th, 2022. Best day of my life, greatest moment. I'll be so glued together and strong. Get ready. Uh, there you go. Casimar Rivera, what do you guys think about the new way of competition, USA versus Georgia? Oh, that's right. I talked to Engen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, speaking with Engen, remember we were talking with Engen the other day? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he said that he wanted to do with his next event, he was going to focus more on Georgian athletes. Oh, really? Yeah, because there's an issue with them and WAF. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're being, yeah, being so penalized probably because of IFA. Something to do I, I don't know assuming. the details, but I remember Engen was saying that they were having issues with WAF. So Engen being the good dude, he was like, okay, well, I'll take care of the Georgian athletes a little bit. And mm -hmm. I think so that they're focusing on more of a Team Georgia being the representation from the, from the East. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, Georgia's a tough team. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. Crazy. It's, crazy. it's neat Amazing. though, you can have Georgia versus USA, right? Yeah, you can almost have Georgia versus the world. <laughs> you could, right? Well, right yeah. now, you definitely could. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Michael Todd is classified bone. Calcified. Calcified bone. Yeah, mine might read now. My reading sucks. Math, I'm good at reading. I suck. Uh, hey, Devin. Thank you for waking up, Michael, and how he hasn't utilized it properly in his last two matches. Version 2.69 coming soon. I love Michael. Uh, to me, when I think of Michael Todd, uh, he's such a fighter. Uh, the most impressive thing about Michael is his spirit. That's, that's a warrior, guys. You cannot keep that guy down. Doesn't matter the cards you give him. Doesn't matter the obstacles you throw at him. There will be a Michael 837 point goal, <laughs> you know? Like, uh, it, it, I, I don't think, he might have to take a little bit of time off here and there, but Michael's gonna arm wrestle until he's dead. That's my opinion, and he's gonna, yeah. He's gonna keep on refining his game, and yeah, and there's yeah. nobody that wants it more than him, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you knock, you knock him down, he'll be right back up. Yeah, thank you for that question uh, and that comment, actually. Oh my uh, god, Sean Brophy, dinner on me tonight, boys. Wow. Stay massive, dude. Too much. Um, what I'm gonna do because of that, everybody that shows up to practice tonight, I'm gonna fire up the fucking smoker, and we're gonna have burgers tonight for wow. practice. What a good guy, Sean yeah. Brophy, dude. Way too much. Um, Marcus Thompson, Matt the Canadian. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, my God. Yeah, I forgot about that. There is this one. Um, Randy Pruden, enjoy your meal, Canadian Giants. Look at these Thank guys. Thank you, for that super chat. You guys are feeding us. Too much. Too much. So we're going to have to oh. have to set the alarm for 2 o'clock oh, in the morning. We're going to have to get pizza, too, before yeah, bed. More, more food. Jesus Christ. Uh, Devin's classy finger. Uh... Devin Lorette, my hubby, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I Hashtag 420, gratings from Austria. Austria. AT &T. Well, I probably know that guy because I've been in Austria. Marcus, uh, I always get his name wrong. Limberger or Limberger. You know him, Marcus? I don't think I do, no. Uh, good left-handed arm wrestler. He beat, uh, he's beaten a lot of guys left-handed. He's okay, right? But his left is really something. Mm -hmm. uh, went and trained with him for, I feel like it's probably about a week, but we partied a lot. We partied a lot over there. Yeah. That yeah, was a good time. All right. Yeah. Let me see if I can scroll back. Get some of these ones I missed. Sorry, guys, if I missed them. Nah. Too many, too quick. Spread them up. Spread them up. Uh, Moritz Singh. Uh, where would you rank Devin? Rank Matt currently Good in rank. world rankings, and where would Matt rank Devin? Mm. I think it's, I don't know, pretty obvious where I'm going to say. Obviously, I would say Devin is number two. Yeah, I know he hasn't faced Vitaly yet, but I do believe he is number two. Uh, I think we're going to find out that he's actually probably higher than that, but that'll be soon. That'll be soon, right? I think. Uh I don't know exactly where you are in the top 10. I'm going to have to look at the names. But there are matches that I'm really interested in for you. You've got, you've got a nice lineup coming up. A lot, of, a lot of matches that I think are going to challenge you between Bresnan, Lars, Lars Rohrbacken, and uh, Rick Heidelbrecht from uh, Ontario. I think they, Every one of them is different style. They are. So you got three different styles. All the way. Every one, as soon as I'm done with one, i got to adapt to the other. And they're all good. They're actually, I mean, Tim Bresen, I mean, he just got beat up by Derek, but that's going to be an interesting match. Uh, Lars is really tricky with that flop. Mm -hmm. And I think that we're going to see the strongest Heidelbrecht we've ever seen. And he's, you know, right. he's won nationals many times. Big, tall guy. Yeah. If everybody's going off of that video from Kredetcha, you can watch part one of that video <laughs> where Kredetcha oh, actually wore yeah. the shit out of him. Yeah. <laughs> and then... And then got him on the table. So, so yeah. But I'll say it right now. Oh, Roxy wants it. I'll say it right now. There's one match that I'm really interested in for Matt. And, come on, Doc. And everybody knows, everybody knows, we've been talking about Wagner Bordelotto versus Matt Mask for a long time. And the problem with it in the past has been Wagner, a few years ago, got surgery on his elbow and they cut his nerve and it left his right hand a little bit 
paralyzed and a little bit weak. You know, you can see it, his thumb was a bit dead or whatever. But speaking to Wagner, um, he's telling me that his right hand is getting up again to his left. He told me- That's awesome news. He told me a few months ago- awesome. Yeah, that his, his right was 90%. I would love to pull that, man. Right? Yeah, I think that everybody I think wants we'd to blow the fucking yeah. roof off the building. Yeah, me place. too. That's a, that's, a, that's an awesome match. <laughs> a really, really hype match. Uh, I, I, I'd really like to see that one. That's, that's a match. But I want, I, want to make sh I want to be sure that he actually is good. Yeah. Like, I want to be oh, sure. for sure. Like, yeah. I want him to really say it and, and, and uh, know that he's actually healed and recovered. It's been, I think it's probably getting close to four or five years now. I'm like, maybe it's even longer. But, yeah. so I think his, I think his right, I mean, you look at his training videos, I mean, he looks ready. Yeah. He looks well, ready. he's a fucking beast. He's yeah, a beast yeah. all around. Just a strong dude everywhere, obviously. Look at the weight he's pushing. Yeah. But, uh, Aussie arm wrestler. Ready? Bang! Okay. Thoughts on Blue versus Bozidar? Uh, keep being awesome, guys. Ready? Bang. Um, <sighs> Bozidar's, I, I don't know, man. I am not predicting anything about Bozidar anymore because every single time I do, that dude fucking amazes the hell out of me. The way he handled Kotowski has been a complete eye changer for me. And honestly, I think it's going to be a grinder, but I don't know if fucking Bowen can, has the stamina to finish off Bozidar because he gets that lock. Right? Once he gets that lock, it's, it's something else. Well, didn't Bozidar just beat Krasimir lately? <laughs> More than once, that? I think. Like, yeah, like he's... Well, he trains with him too, right? I heard, and I don't know, this is like fifth-hand information, but somebody was telling me that they saw Bozidar, Bozidar beat Krasimir. And I don't know if it was practice or tournament or after pull or whatever, but... Even if it was any one of those things, mm. I, me personally, I cannot see Blue ever beating Crescent. Mm. I, I don't think I can see that. Yeah. So, and I, I, I don't know that Blue's gonna beat Bulzadar in a hook. Is he gonna yeah. be able to top roll him? I don't think so. Yeah, will he be able to stay away from his hook? That's. Like, I mean, the only chance he's got is just being way too massive. This one impressive human being, that's for sure. Yeah. So I'll hammer off a couple of these ones here quickly. Brock Lewis, just saying hi, guys, from Perth, Western Australia. All the best for your preps and upcoming matches. Stay strong and huge, boys. Uh, the dreaded Pirate Blue Bowen. What do you think? Did Usan, Beer Man, fake COVID to run from schoolboy? Not a fucking chance. Beer man ain't scared of fucking nobody. He's drunk. He don't have a clue what he's saying half the time, but he ain't fucking scared. Tell you, he was ready. He was all. He was ready. He's. I haven't gotten a chance to pull with him since. Yeah. I felt him in his prep when he was, you know, really beat down because he was training every single day, and he was strong in his prep. But there's a lot of travel between the Ottawa club and the Pembroke club. Like guys go up all the time. I've been. I've been meaning to go up. I just. I'll go back up there when I get home, but everything I've seen, everything I've heard, Evan is ahead of everybody right now. That's all. Because he had his had his peak. Well, we'll find we'll see him in Vegas here too in the next month, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, he'll right. be in Vegas at Canada versus USA. And I pulled Tim. He's pulling Tim's kid. Yeah, Poor that's kid. right, Corey. Yeah, that's a poor kid. Match. Poor kid. Uh, you think Joe? So? You think? I, I think. I think, uh, yeah. Corey Gresnan looks like a tank. Does he? Yes! Did you know? I haven't seen his last match. Let me tell you. Well, you gotta see it. Okay, so, there's this guy in Texas, and forgive me, I'm following this guy on Instagram. He's, I thought he was the best guy in Texas, or him or Dimitri, I don't know. Tall, skinny guy, like a 220-ish, tall, rangy, super strong guy. So he's really good, and Corey kind of made it look easy. Yeah, is that right, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I have to look more into him. No, he's really, yeah. really something now. Uh, Joel Nello, are your team practices open? Can I drive up from Calgary once a week? Just started and not pulling with anyone from here. Love this week's video, fellas. Stay massive. Absolutely. Throw me a message. Uh, whenever I host practice, whenever Stu hosts the practices, they're, they're open to whoever the fuck wants to show up, learn, and put their arm on the table. So, yeah, send me a message. If I can get to it, I'll, I'll let you know where we are. 
And just keep keep sending them. Eventually, I'll get one. So, uh, Pot Hoffer Rich. Uh, with the strap, is the high hook style the top of the hill in the strongest position for arm wrestling, or is an outside top roll stronger? I'd say that, um, you know, as far as technique goes, I think that there's a lot of bias when people argue about what technique is the best because, you know, you've built an entire system in your mind around your best techniques and all your best counters. I believe that the, the high hook or high roll is, is some very vital ground because the way that I still understand arm wrestling, this high spot kind of divides inside and outside. So from height, if you roll or, or you come inside, if you own that, the person is kind of stuck either in some kind of dragging, dragging, flopping, pressing, which means that you can kind of box them further and further into one side of the arm wrestling spectrum, be it they're stuck in or they're stuck out. If you control the top of the pyramid, you can kind of just use more techniques. So as I understand it, high hook or high roll are probably some of the strongest openers in arm wrestling. And then the ability to kind of remain intimate and follow somebody down like, like you're on a snow hill and you're at the top of the mountain. And when you give that guy his first shot, you continue to follow him all the way down the hill, just feeding him. Somewhat like Thor did to me. <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah, you're, you're backing up downhill for sure. So, <laughs> what? Uh, what? Randy Pruden, enjoy your meal, Canadian Giants. Thank you, sir, for that super chat. Uh, Marcus Thompson, Devin, how am I arm feeling strong, or does he need to eat a few more chicken thighs? I need a few more chicken thighs. Well, what we're doing should answer your question. There's never enough strength. There's <laughs> never enough chicken thighs. But yeah, Matt always feels great. That's why I'm here. Matt's been my go-to guy for uh, kind of my gauge for quite a long time now. Uh, Matt's hand is ridiculous. I always feel like Matt's hand is better than mine. Like whenever we grip up first round, I feel like my hand, like I don't own the top of the mountain typically when Matt and I arm wrestle. Typically, I'm the one who's kind of doing all sorts of funky garbage just to kind of, but it's been that way for a long time. Uh, I think that Matt has a lot of gifts and uh, yeah, if you eat enough chicken thighs, maybe one day, Matt. One more maybe year. one day. One more year. The the that'll probably be the time when Alberta separates, <laughs> and and the king will then live in Red Deer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, Devin, you gonna pull the Daz move on the Bon, uh, Diego Dabble? Obviously, it's obviously the best choice with Levon. Best move against Levon, just come up, grab him low. Right by the elbow. Just fucking turn him in. Look at him for a while and just... Uh, a little... <laughs> yeah. So funny <laughs> to me, whenever I hear John Rezink talk about arm wrestling, I always get a joke. I always, I always get a laugh out of it. Because he's always like, well, you know, I think guys should really grab the guy low. <laughs> You ever hear him talk about like that? Because he wants you to take his advice. Right? Is that what it is? I think he wants you to take his advice. I don't advice. think it's it is. Point. I think he legitimately, the way John Brzezink is built and everything, he's like, no, the better move is just to dad move the guy. <laughs> I, you know, that's, that's kind of the, the advice that I've heard from John over and over when dealing with a lot of these super strong guys. Is, yeah, just grab them low. <laughs> no. It's so, it's so crazy to me. But... <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm built like, I'm, I'm built like that once I can tire a guy out. Once I tire a guy out, then yeah, well, whatever, maybe I can dad move you. Yeah. Right, you know, <laughs> round seven. Round, round seven. Yeah. No. Mm. The tiebreaker. Hey. Okay. Uh, Ajnil 2011. Hey, Devin, how do I actually get into the Roman Dubai where you will face Levon? Might travel all the way from USA for such a historic event. Yeah. I would start to pay close attention to two pages. 
The first page I pay attention to is uh, core sports. Um, yeah, core sports, they, they're gonna have all the information up there. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess core sports is, is the main one, right? That's the goal. I, mm -hmm. I, I was gonna name some of the you know, event promoters because I thought it might be, it might be at Strong Gym again. I don't know where the venue actually is. If it's at Strong Gym, you can follow uh, Mark Boyd. Uh, he runs the gym there in Dubai where a lot of the events are being held. If, if you contact them, they'll be able to tell you if that's the venue and maybe you can get in early because there will be limited seating for sure if it's there. I don't know, but a lot of things are gonna change, I think, venue-wise. I think it's gonna start to open up, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, Alan came on here. I'm gonna get this one quickly before it just Alan? Appears. Yeah, Alan oh. hey, man, four. Hey, buddy. How's it going, brother? Uh, who do you guys think will be a good match for me at East versus West? Engen wants to know. Also, please send me some subs, guys. <laughs> Go check out Alan Ford's channel, hey? Yeah, you, he, Alan, who's editing your videos? That's definitely not you. That's, I think that's his, that's his girl who's doing that. Um, uh, Alan Ford. Well, you know what? Now, Alan versus Bozadar could be more interesting. I was thinking Lucif from Turkey. Mm, let me think. That's um, what I was thinking. I think that you would whack Coach Ray. Like, you'd crush him. Coach Ray might be mm. interesting. But I, that's what I think. And the thing is, if I think that he can beat Coach Ray and Coach Ray doesn't think that Alan can beat him, well, then it starts to get interesting, right? Yeah. I mean, Ray's good. Ray's good. But I think I think even old washed-up Alan Ford could beat him. Could be a possibility. Maybe. Hey, Alan, I love you. I love you, buddy. See you soon, brother. Yeah, I'm going to come up and train with him very soon. Uh, the Door. Have you huge rigs considered doing commercials for Kool-Aid? Looking like you could run through a Levon sized wall, enjoy the chicken, stay massive. Thank you, sir, for that idea. super chat. It's a good idea. Kool Aid. Kool Aid commercial. I think it's a great idea. Hey. Matt, tickle my limits, Lorette. Fuck, how the hell you been, brother? Uh, my you favorite dudes in the sport. It's time to grow. Thanks for being awesome, guys. No, thank you, Matt, tickle my limits, Lorette. That's a pretty cool name. Yeah, I mean, what the Florida? Down in Florida. That's yeah. where he's from, Florida. Yeah. Nice. So, Aaron Chavez, key to victory, exploding hand technique, Cobra. Yeah. I mean, can't argue with that one. Cobra 113. Cobra 113. Yeah. 2.69. <laughs> um, exploding hand technique is an awesome technique. You know, once you have the hand, you do not ever let them get away. No. You'd probably be good to start doing more exploding hand technique. Problem is, it's always in the straps now. I worry about my fingers. Ah, uh, yeah. Thing no. is, exploding hand technique is great outside of the straps. I mean, you can do it inside the straps too, for sure. Same idea. Remember, remember when he did it to Giannis? Yeah. And it was like a fucking straw. You know when you take a straw, piece of paper off your straw you get from McDonald's or A&W, and you just peel it off? That's like what he did to Giannis' thumb at WL and Regionals. I think that's on MBK. Yeah. On Drellich Northern oh, Regionals, 2016. Literally, he, he like instantly had to go to the emergency room and get stitches. I, and I didn't notice the first. I remember watching a video, Giannis is like, oh, he like surprised him. He's like, yeah. And that was the year that, the year before, Giannis won it. Yeah. Yeah. That Northern Regionals. He, and you know what? He probably could have won it that year too. Until. Had. That not get happen, the right? fucking, yeah, the skin on his thumb ripped off. I don't think it was just the skin. I feel like it went deep, man. It was, I think there was muscle in there too. Yeah, like I he think. was, he grabbed hold. He was not letting go. Yeah. Um, Hordakir Tourist. What do you guys think about Derek versus Dave and Todd versus Chance? Uh, I love you, Chance, but it's. It's not no gonna chance. happen. Yeah, there's no chance. No chance. No chance. Toddzilla, like he may get him over. He'll, he'd probably take his hand, but just to get through that arm, I'm gonna say Toddzilla 100%. Um, 
be very impressive. It would be very impressive if you can beat them. Yeah. Very impressive. Definitely. Uh, I'm still really, I'm obvious, like, I'm excited about the match. I'm going to watch it. Oh, of course. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of Chance's. And, uh, like, Chance, like, we started to notice Chance when he was, what, like, 14 years old? How old was yeah, he? Just, like, 15, like, 16? Yeah, 16, something like that. Like, like, instantly, as soon as you see him, he just, you knew he had a natural like he, he actually looked like he knew what he was doing yeah and he'd been five six years in the sport as soon as he initially stepped off to the table but so. there's there's gonna be like that that top end horsepower that takes a long time to cultivate is what you really have it's hard to beat Todd Zilla without some kind of ridiculous without strength. something special yeah, yeah. uh court for your Derek, zero four Derek, four Derek versus Chafee your next maple syrup on me oh yeah Dave versus Chafee can uh, you do it Derek versus Chafee. I'll tell you what, if if Derek even gets a pin on him, I honestly think, or even gets his hand cracked back, Derek is definitely leveled up to a whole new game. I, I think Dave is just going to completely own him, honestly, myself, just because I've seen Derek in the past. I know he's getting a lot better, but Dave, I just think, is just way, way, way too fucking strong. So I don't think the, the amount of technique, because Dave, Dave is 90% strength, 5-10% technique. And he's got some of the best strength, I believe, in our sport across the fucking board. And I, Derek needs a lot more strength. Technique alone ain't going to do anything, I believe, with Dave. I'm so curious, though. I'm oh, so, I would I'm love so to see. Absolutely. Stoked, Derek stoked to see is it. huge. Yeah, massive. Like, he could... Yeah. Get stronger than yeah, Dave. He could. Well, he's got the he's got the size. Right? You see his pictures right. that he posts on like uh, Grinder and stuff. No, yeah, no. he's massive. He's massive. Well, he's getting bigger. And he's getting meaner too. Yeah. He's got the attitude now to back it up, which I think is fucking awesome. Yeah, because he lacked that for the longest time. So it's good he, to uh, see him bring it. Tell you, me. if I, I like that, every time anybody wins. Whoever won the last super match, it's like this person is the greatest person. That's the a lot of people don't realize there's bad days, right? Every armor, you don't know what's going on with someone personally, what happened that morning, what happened the week before, anything. There's some bad day, even a bad sleep. Like when you get to that level, there's not a whole lot of difference between guys. Like I feel like even a good so, practice session can screw up the rankings. Yeah. But <laughs> if Derek beats Dave. Everything is screwed up. That's yeah. That's a completely everything gets messed. Completely up. different ballpark yeah. altogether. Uh, Gwentham saying, uh, Devin, do you think a training session versus John would be beneficial to you? Uh, or are you just not friends enough for that? Matt, love what you're doing for Devin. Hey, anything I could. I uh, I do believe that it's actually in the plan to have John come to Canada. We we spoke about it briefly. We, I don't know if the timing is gonna match up perfectly. I remember what we spoke about and then I, and then watching John's uh, live feeds there, I, I heard him mention something about it and the dates didn't seem like exactly what we spoke about, but I am optimistic that John and I will get to train uh, in the next couple months. Uh, the, the, the plan on my end, but I have to talk to John, uh, is we'll fly him up either to, right to Ottawa, or we'll fly him to Toronto. Maybe he can piggyback off an event that's going on at that time. Or maybe we'll do some seminars with him in Ottawa, and I'll get to do some uh, some one-on-one -on -one work with him because yeah, that's yeah. That, well, that's strong. Yeah, strong. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Uh, Nathan Thompson uh, is Devin on the performance and Hanson Sativa for his appetite. Get it, brother. You got that. No, no, no Sativa performance. Digestive enzymes. Hey, <laughs> digestive enzymes. I'll have you know, Jody, no sativa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe everything he tells you. <laughs> J Monster. Hey, Matt. In your opinion, who would be a hard match for you, Toddzilla or Michael Todd? I think either one of them is a hard match for me. Very different. Yeah, they're both both different in their own ways. Uh, Toddzilla, it's obviously the finish, a little bit of finish at the end, enough climb to get what you need. Um, I, I think 
one day if we ever do face, I'd love to pull him. Uh, I think it could be in my favor. But uh, Todd Zilla, Todd Zilla is on a fucking tear right now, isn't he? He's just fucking kicking ass and taking names everywhere he goes. But that's a match I really want to have back. I don't think I'm ready yet. Uh, give me a couple more months and uh, I'm, I'm coming for you, Todd. So, uh, GFS, hey guys, love your content and seeing you together. Devin, did you enjoy your time in Australia? And Matt, have you ever been to Austria so far? Um, keep up the good work. Best regards from the Alps. Uh, wondering if you enjoyed your time in Austria. Austria? Is he talking to you? I'm sorry, I just got distracted here for a second. Yeah, no that, worries. Did I get, did I enjoy my time in Austria? Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it, yeah. Got to, got to train every day. We partied, we ate. Marcus. Yeah. Got to train. That's, that's who brought me. Marcus nice. Lim, Lim, yeah. Limburger. Lim, Liebmeier. Looks like a beautiful place. I always, always screw up his last name. Mm -hmm. Andy G, thanks for the update. Uploads these last few days. Guys, Devin, any plans to visit the Washington State? I'm assuming that's Washington State, eh? Uh, Jacob Abbott. Yeah, yeah, Washington State and train with Jacob Abbott and his crew. There's interesting revelation that's happened to me on this trip is, uh, is just how good it's been. This has been a very, very good trip in my mind. Uh, I was thinking I was gonna, I think I was thinking that this was gonna be the only trip that I did, but just because it's been so good, I might do, I might, I'm not saying I'm gonna, but I might do one or two more because this has been very valuable for me. We'll see. I don't think I'm gonna cross the, the border. I might go to another Canadian training camp, we'll see, or, or I'll just maybe fly up some more people to Ottawa or Toronto to come and train with me. But uh, yeah, yeah anything's possible. I don't need to stress the travel right now either. Right? That's that's the thing. I mean, but it's unless been, you're in your own country. Yeah, it's easier. It's easier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but uh, there's once once the match with Levon is done, I'll I'll probably get out a lot more and do a lot more touring. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get back down, see big tours for Abbott. a couple months. Yeah. Yeah, you got a good crew over there too. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah real good guys. So, um, sitting day twenty-seven. Every time my stunt stretches his wingspan, I see Devin in my hand, and I yell at him, "Yeah, big boy." <laughs> that hurt my rib. Ribs out, eh? A little bit. Yeah, it's ice, icy outside. Watch your step. Yeah. You gotta walk around with one of them, one of them uh, fucking grinders. Yeah, I was thinking uh, salters, salter or like uh, like uh, fertilizer sprayer. Yeah, to sand it. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Uh, Nick Lehman, guys, the bro down was totally non-sexual. Oh, that's Not a guy. Love the contact. Uh, record, hey, sure it wasn't. It just didn't go you off. You don't know what you started. You don't know what you. <laughs> We've been making jokes about it for the last couple days. This is gonna go. This is gonna be a new arm wrestling. Popping thing. collars, bro popping down. collars. Yeah. yeah. I just told your asparagus. Yeah, that was, that was really funny. I think that was the funniest comment <laughs> on the whole live feed. No, oh, it was hilarious. My daughter was in the fucking room listening to the live stream, laughing her ass off. No, oh. that's too funny. Uh, good. Good laugh. Uh, for that. John Carter. Hey, Canadian Giants. Who impressed Devin from the Red Deer Club and the Lethbridge Club? Lethbridge, um, well, all the uh, all the Houghtons are exceptional, every one of them. Uh, you know, Len Houghton is kind of he's been the guy for a long time, and yeah. now the, the, all three of his boys have a lot of like they're great arm wrestlers. There was a guy in an orange shirt, Ty. Was his name Ty, Ty Sakal? Thought he was great. He's got a real good lock in the hospital. Yeah, just his ability to... Once he gets it, yeah. it's fast. Really fast. He impressed me. Um, <clears throat> and then there was a guy who also impressed me. I just thought he was so funny. His name's Jeremy, but I called him Frank. Frank. Just to piss him off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, he was a funny guy. He sucks as an arm wrestler. He's terrible. <laughs> but what a great guy to have in the crowd. Um, yeah, Lethbridge, Lethbridge, there was a lot of big people, big guys. 
Um, a lot of good hands. Red Deer, yeah, you got you got some good guys coming up. I think, you know, Caleb, uh, there's a guy who actually, I don't know whether you stole him for us or we had him for a while. The, he's not your biggest guy, but uh, Victor. Oh, Victor, yeah, Victor's, Victor's yeah. getting really, really He impressed good. me just mm -hmm. in how, you know, well-rounded he was. And yeah, he pull anywhere. Yeah, Allie's great. Yeah. Uh, and um, did, I, did I say Caleb and uh, his dad? Yeah, Dwayne. They're strong guys. Um, and what's the guy with the black uh, black hoodie? Lin, Lin, Lin. Big dude, black hoodie. He's got a brother. Fed oh, uh, Jaden. Jaden. And but what is the guy with the black? Who his name was? Jaden. I thought. Jared. I I don't know. I I gotta remember names a bit better. Tonight, I'll have a better answer. Vitaly? Vitaly. Uh, no, no, not Vitaly. Vitaly was the big Russian dude, right? Yeah, yeah. Big Ukraine. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Thompson, come visit us in the south shore of Nova Scotia for some fishing during the downtime. So, yeah. Nova Scotia. Good plan. Beautiful place. Good plan. Uh, hey, who ate more? Who ate more? I think I did. You don't clean your stuff. One, two, three, once. four, five, six, seven. But look at you leave also. I'm like way more efficient. See, like this is yeah. this is an average one of mine. Picking and like you're you, looking for the biggest one. Well, actually. this one, yeah, yeah the most media okay. one. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. the difference. This is the difference. No, <laughs> so, yeah, whatever. It's chicken, chicken's cheap. Chicken, rich, chicken legs, are rich cheap. guy, rich guy, Matt Mask. Yeah. yeah, I wish. So, uh, Thomas the Tank Engen, how big will Devin's head be for the match? Imagine a field full of watermelons. <laughs> I was thinking the giant pumpkins. Did you see that? The chicken just fell. Yeah. It didn't even spill out of the fucking tree. Oh, really? Really, man. Look wow. at that. That guy's Look at that. It's a blessed, oh. it's a blessed haul, this. It is. I'll save the last two for Rory. I yeah. think Rory's hungry. Yeah, he's been Rory's been smelling chicken the whole time. Uh, yeah. Can we so, say anything about Rory? Or we got yeah, hey, Rory, you want to come in and say hi? Hey. I call Rory two for two. Two for two. That's what I call Rory. Two up, two down. Two up, two down. So, Rory, Rory's the guy that's been walking around with the camera, following Devin around for the last little bit. I don't know how much we can say about it. Can, I, can we say anything about it? Yeah, just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, talk about it. I want to let you talk about it. Because uh, so, you know more than I do. I just know you're around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shit, just making a feature documentary on Devin here and uh, aiming for Netflix. That's the goal. So uh, definitely not a small operation, but uh, we're growing. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great fucking film. Pretty he, much all I can say. And he gets to know all the, all the inside scoop of everything that's really going on. He gets yeah. all the behind the scenes. Yeah. The lowdown. Yeah. Pretty much. All right. Uh, Devin, do you fight someone from Poland? When do you fight someone from when Poland? When do you fight well, someone from Poland? Alex Kredetsch is for Poland. That could happen. Yeah. Uh, Brunette 43, uh, heaviest, lightest you've been for a match? Well, you just pulled two 20s, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the lightest I've been for probably the last 20 years was the 225 pound division. For the last how many years? Twenty. The last twenty. I mean, so no, like, no, you were two twenties. So two thousand two. Yeah, that was twenty-two years ago. Yeah. So it's probably like, and I was cutting to make that class. Yeah. Yeah, like I was normally like two thirty. You were cutting to make two twenty-five too. Yeah. 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 So I mean, normal normal weight for me, like I'd say, if I'm healthy, healthy walking weight at forty-six, it's probably two fifty-ish. 260 ish and right now I'm 270 ish right so I'm a heavy yeah and I'll continue to get heavier still but and then that last week couple weeks when you're not really doing much too it'll sugar be huge sugar and water huge yeah. spike right yeah um, so the heaviest I've ever competed uh, and I'll just say morning weight was 280 285 284 and that was with Mike and the lightest is 225 yeah 
Uh, Jesse T, no comment. Thank you, sir, for the super chat. Uh, Emmanuel, I'm probably going to butcher this last name. Uh, Gio, Gio Blom. Uh, what is your biggest fear of Levon? Is it all about the hand? Uh, I don't really focus in on one specific thing with Levon. It's, he's, he's got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, his arm and his hand are incredible. Uh, he's, he's very well rounded. Yeah, he's pretty well rounded. Obviously, his hand is a massive concern. So is his arm. Uh, he is a, he is a large concern. Lamont is a large concern. Uh, yeah, pick pick a spot, man. What 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 part of Lamont do you want to focus on and be worried about? You can kind of pick. There's a lot lot going on with that guy. Yeah. Um, Jared Pog, huge fan of both of you. Aside from Devin crushing Lavon, who will be your pick for the Mountain versus the Beast fight coming up? I I'm gonna say I want to say the Beast. You going with Eddie? Yeah. I'm going with Eddie. I think. I think Eddie's a lot shorter. If he can get in tight with him, I don't think the Mountain's gonna have enough to punch away. And and I think if Eddie connects. We could see lights out. That's that's my thought, anyways. But yeah, I you know I hate to call it, but like I know anything about boxing at all. <laughs> I, yeah, you proved us that, right? So I'm I'm not really one to comment too much, and there hasn't been a lot of footage of Thor, but I think that Thor hits harder. Mm -hmm. I think that Thor is in better shape. I'm not going to argue with you there. I think... I think Eddie, if it goes the distance, yeah. I think Eddie is more athletic. I think Thor may, and this is a big question mark for me, but I think that he's had more, uh, more th stuff taught to him over the last two years. I don't know what their, I don't know what Eddie's previous experience was. If, if he has previous experience, then that's completely, doesn't matter. Well, mm -hmm. it does matter, but if they both were starting at zero, I think that Thor's had more teachers, more coaching. Yeah. And, and it's really, I, th I think, I think Eddie's going to win. I don't know. I think he's You're going gonna, with Eddie. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's going to be yeah. crazy. I'm so excited. I'm, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to hammer off these next couple. Then we're going to have to get going because we got a few things to do around town. But uh, Liam and Terriano, Devin, how was it meeting Rogan? Super cool guy. Super smart guy. I've realized that just to be a comedian, you have to, have, you have to be way smarter than everybody. Sitting in a room with a bunch of comedians, those guys are sharp as whips. And Rogan is like, you know, He's, he's, he's incredible. Watched him do a comedy show. What a funny guy. Uh, and talk about a guy who's got a lot going on in his life. And what a powerful human being. Mm. You know? Huge influencer right now. Yeah. Great dude. I was kind of a fly on the wall, really. I just kind of hung out and listened mostly. But, uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe something will happen there. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see soon. Yeah. Uh, Marcus Thompson, Matt, are you going to buy to be Devin Wingman? No chicken Joe contended. I see what you did there. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. We'll have to talk about it. Maybe I'd, yeah, I'd love to fucking go check out Dubai. Dubai. I'd love to be there while you crush the mountain. Or we got call Levon. We got to get you in there, right. anyways. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll be there. Maybe we could be an undercard match or something. Yeah. No, I don't know. We'll see. See what happens. Uh, Hexy Hex, who do you think would win? Levon now or Dennis Saplinkoff in his prime? I'll let you answer that because you know more about Dennis than I do. But I I would say Levon. Tough match. But tough match. I'll tell you, in my opinion, if Levon doesn't finish him quick, Dennis will win. Mm. In my opinion. Because yeah. We've seen Dennis. His hold, yeah, he has kind of like a king's move. So, hard to finish. When Dennis was really, really powerful, like remember 
when he pulled arson and arson was awesome. It was just like, bang. Yeah. yeah like that moving arson, basically. Yeah. And then, like, the top level guys and the straps, he was, like, kings moving and, like, outside rolling. And yeah. No. I do think that Levon is probably the favorite. More finesse. But I think on a super match, it would have been extremely interesting. Extremely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's still there's still more information on what Dennis was than what Levon is. Yeah, there's more information. Um, Levon is bigger. Yeah, I don't think we we know the whole story about Levon yet. No, I don't think so. so. Uh, Solo and Sawdust with Dick Rid and Dave. Uh, when you go into the rig, there. Well, you get D don't you call him with what Dickerhead? It's Dickerhead and oh. Dave. Oh, okay, okay. It is, yeah. <laughs> when you go into the ring, will you get Derek? No, no. Uh, will you get Devin up the Derek on the monkey boards? Uh, I don't know if we'll get him up the Derek, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what they allow us. Uh, zero pull, no question. Thank you for that super chat. Daniel Barak, no question. Uh, James Wilson. You guys can tear some chicken up, stay massive. We're gonna hammer off three full chickens tonight for supper. So incredible. But yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go check out, we're gonna go size you up for some coveralls yeah. today. Mm -hmm. Coveralls, get you some boots, and then uh, we're gonna go bring Rory for a couple tours around town. And then uh, and then yeah, we'll get back and fire up that smoker. And then and then she's red deer round two tonight. Ready your round two. Good. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one. All right, go ahead, this motherfucker. All right. <sighs> okay, I'm touching my screen, but nothing's happening. There we go.